Hello everyone. Today we will review the second part of the Malibu Rescue movie series. Um, because once I reviewed the first one and saw that there was a second one, I was like, I guess I have to do this one because otherwise it wouldn't make wouldn't make much sense to only review one of them and not continue and finish the series because they're pretty short films anyway. Uh, so this one starts off. And I'm just going to say that obviously it was good that they brought back the same cast for the second movie because it wouldn't have quite been the same with with uh, without the same cast, obviously. So that really made the film. Um, so this one starts off with they're doing a world competition now instead of a just like a Malibu beach competition between like the Malibu teams. And I do remember now what the... Uh, other kids, what is it? Team. Yeah, why can't I think of his name? His name's Tyler, right? I do believe. Let me just look that up. Because there's, uh, yeah, there's, I don't know why I can't think of his name. Anyhow, so this movie starts out where they're doing Team Flounder has stepped up. They are now basically the main squad in Malibu Rescue. So there's this guy out in the water on a... Uh, what what do they call those long boards that you stand on? Yeah. Oh, paddleboard, I believe. He's out on his paddleboard and these three sharks surround him. And he's calling for help. And, you know, the smart thing to do would just be to make the least amount of movement possible, I would think. But he starts splashing at the water and then he falls off his paddleboard. And, of course... The Malibu rescue crew has to come in and save them, which they are successful in. And then, uh, I believe I believe his name is Tyler. Just hold on a second here. Do 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 do. Okay, we're gonna find out here. In a... Good lord. Yeah, Tyler, right. So, then Tyler falls overboard, and Dylan has to go back and get him. Um, so, obviously, now there is a love interest between Dylan and Tyler, even though they don't actually finally kiss until the end of the movie, because we kind of all saw it coming at some point, I guess, if you've seen this movie, because it just came out this year, I'm not really sure exactly when it was released, but I just kind of came across these movies and thought it would be fun to do because it's more of a B-rated movie, I suppose. Uh, so he decides that he is going to... So they have this old coleslaw, and Tyler decides that he is going to prank Brody from the very first movie um, and just give him the coleslaw because now Brody is on Team USA and Team Australia is their biggest rival. So he gives Brody the bad coleslaw that was apparently 17 years old. I don't know why anybody would have even kept that, but for the movies, for the movie's sake, I guess it's just like it's just com comedy, right? So, uh, so yeah, he gives him the coleslaw, and then I guess the whole the whole Team USA decides that they're going to eat it as well. And then they all get sick, so they can't compete. So then Tyler and Dylan and their team have to step up and compete in their place. <clears throat> and so they only have four days to train. So they start training against the Aussies, and then the Aussies start to try to get in their heads, which eventually works. And I believe her name is Gina, is the one girl her father was in the military, so she decides to take over as the team leader and train them for the world competition that they're going to be in, which is the Beachmaster. I just remember the name of it. So she's training them for this Beachmaster competition. Unfortunately, they kind of, the Aussies get in their head. And then Tyler's sister, or stepsister, I guess in this, yeah, stepsister, decides that she's going to trick the Aussies into a shipping container in which they actually get taken away from the beach. So Tyler has to go and save them. Uh, he is successful in doing that. So then they come back and they're able to have their run against the Aussies. Unfortunately, uh, on the last obstacle, Tyler slips and 
he sprains his knee or ankle or something. He had some sort of brace on at the end of the movie. I guess it must have been his knee uh, that he ended up hurting. So I'm not sure if he was... Maybe he injured more and just had that on because he actually needed it. I don't know. Or whether it was just for the movie. But anyhow, they weren't able to win the competition. The Australians win. And uh, obviously Brody is upset about that because they would have had a five-year streak of winning the Beachmaster competition. But they weren't able to do it this year due to the fact that Tyler kind of screwed that up for all of them. <coughs> um, but anyway, what is the one? What is the redhead's name? I can never think of her name. So Eric and Eric and Lizzie are now together, and uh, her humor hasn't changed. She still she still has a very dark sense of humor. Because when she's at the class, she talks about tranking the teacher or something to get Eric out of class. And then they leave a dummy of Eric there the entire time. He's gone to train for the Beachmaster competition. And nobody seems to check on the fact that he's not actually there. Or is still there day and night for a whole week, basically. Painting his picture. And then, of course, he shows up on the last day and it's actually him in the classroom, and he's painted this wonderful masterpiece, so the teacher lets him go for the summer. And, yeah, that was that was near the end of the movie, though. Uh, so at the Beachmaster competition, after Tyler gets his injury, the rest of his team helps him to the finish line. They cross it, and then they find out that they've basically saved the day due to the fact that, even though they weren't trying to save the day in that way, them rescuing the Australians from the shipping container on the highway was what got people to sign up to become a, a junior Malibu rescue uh, team member, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Uh, and Jeffy is in this movie. He's, uh, I guess, kind of has a crush on um, Tyler's sister, so he helps her out with all of her plans. And of course, as soon as I seen the Jeffy character again, I was like, oh my god, what kind of shenanigans is he going to get up to? But he was kind of a little calmer in this movie. <laughs> Thank god there was no stealing boats or anything for Jeffy. It was just the, I guess the real heroic scene was the scene on the highway with Tyler saving the Australians from the shipping container before they were shipped to who knows where. Because I'm not really sure what would have happened if they'd ended up on a, a freighter. <laughs> I think that's the right word for a ship, or a, yeah. It would have been bad if they ended up on a ship full of shipping containers, because who knows where they would have ended up. So, the Australians break the American streak, and they are able to save uh, the Malibu Rescue funding anyway, because that whole heroic heroics with Tyler was what saved the day. Uh, so I would say this movie was actually kind of better than the first one. I can't remember my exact... I think my rating on the first one was a 7 out of 10, I do believe. Uh, but I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Because it was actually a little bit better. Uh, wasn't quite as uh, crazy to believe that he could make a small jump between a bus and a truck and get them out once the vehicle was obviously stopped. So there was no real... Uh, crazy heroic scenes in this one, like in the first one, where there's explosions and stuff for no reason. This one was a little more calm and made a little bit more sense. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's it was still kind of like the typical like whole, I guess trying to be Baywatch, like the whole teen version of Baywatch still in a way. This one maybe even a little bit more, because it had all the uh, world teams come in to one and be competing, and obviously it showed a little bit more of a lifeguard side, I would say, than uh, the previous movie, so yeah, you could kind of see how it was geared more towards being like the teen version of Baywatch, that's how I would describe it anyway, uh, but I think that's all I actually have to say about this film, and uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on this film if you've seen it, and if you haven't seen it, Maybe go watch it first before you see this review. I try to say that at the end of every video. I should pro probably start saying that at the start. Just to kind of get that out of the way first. But anyhow, I will see you guys on the next one.
Bye-bye for now.